Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another weekly check-in for the month of November. We are already checking in for the third week which is from the 16th until the 22nd and I'm ready for it. I'm excited to get into it. All the stickers you see are from my shop which is the planning dancer and there is always of course a link in my description box as well as a coupon code and this week is a really exciting week when it comes to my shop because it is Thanksgiving week and Black Friday week and it's just gonna be a lot of fun so just stay tuned also subscribe if you're new here because I will be uploading a sale announcement video on Wednesday which will also show my new releases that will be coming there's just a lot going on so be sure to subscribe to not miss anything as well as follow my Instagram which is also always in the description box it's just a planning dancer um, because I will be updating you guys there and I have already been showing a bunch of sneak peeks over there so if you're curious head over there because it's gonna be a crazy week <laughs> but with all that said let's get into this check-in so I'm starting off with my orange expense labels because that is the color I use for gas I have my key over here on this side so I did get gas this past week which I spent $25 and this was at 76 which I never go to 76 because it is pretty pricey but I waited to the last second to get gas and I needed gas like at that moment so um yeah that's that's what I did um and then the only other expenses I had for the week were food expenses. So I'm gonna grab my tan expense labels and then I have my little um, micro happy notes right up here. So that's why I'm reaching up there. Um, so the first food expense I had was on Monday the 16th and I spent $8 at Cane's I got lunch just for myself, which I feel like doesn't happen often. I usually don't buy food just for me, um, but I was alone this day and I was starving, so I went ahead and got that. And then on Tuesday, I went grocery shopping, so I spent $37 at Vons. I just got a bunch of stuff like for the week and I still have plenty of food which is really good because it's been um, almost a week since then because it is currently Monday the 23rd um, so this money was well spent for sure and then I also went to Sprouts this day and spent eight dollars and 42 cents and I just bought some turkey and cheese from there because I <laughs> I'm just so picky when it comes to sandwiches and I know like most people eat sandwiches at home but and like I do too but I just can't with like your basic lunch meat I know it sounds so bougie and extra but it's the reality of my life so it's fine um, so that's what I bought from Sprouts and then the last expense I had was at 7-eleven and I spent five dollars and this was on Saturday the 21st and this was just for drinks for George and I because we got food and then I bought the drinks and then we ate at a park so that's that now I can go ahead and put down my paydays which I had I don't know I had three like sources of income I guess you could say but um Etsy was on Tuesday and then Instacart and I got a reimbursement on 
Wednesday. So obviously I'm only going to put one payday sticker down because putting two would be a little extra. But I mean, I wouldn't put it against myself, <laughs> to be honest, because we all know I'm obsessed with stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and put my no spend day stickers down now. So I have one for Wednesday and one for Thursday. And one for Sunday. So that is that. Now we can flip to my weekly check-in page. Zoom in for you guys so you know what's going on. <laughs> and let's fill this out. So starting with gas once again. I spent $25 and I had 50 remaining so that leaves me with 25 remaining for the month and then fun I did not spend anything so I have six dollars and 68 cents and then for food I am gonna have to add these totals up because there was four so eight dollars for canes plus 37 at Vons 842 at Sprouts and seven no that's wrong I was gonna write 7-eleven but <laughs> that was definitely the place not the amount so eight plus 37 plus 842 plus five is 5842 so 5842 which is over my weekly amount because I do um, give myself $45 a week but I knew I didn't spend any money on food last week so I knew I was fine um, so I had a hundred and forty six dollars and twenty five cents remaining and then I spent $58.42 this week. So I have $87.83 remaining for the month, which is perfect and should be more than enough. So um, I didn't have anything unbudgeted either, so I'm just gonna leave that blank. And now I'm gonna walk you through the rest of my pages, which have actually a ton going on so let's get started with sinking funds so over here is my sinking funds transaction log which I am going to be running out of space for because I still need to go Christmas shopping which will obviously be written down here so I plan to just put like a sticky note here um, to write down any other transactions but um, since I've seen you last I have four new transactions. So I have $11 taken out of my medical sinking fund and that was to buy some iron vitamins. And then I spent $5 out of my gift um, category, which I only had $5 in there and that was for wrapping paper. So then I took another $5 from holiday, of course, for that same wrapping paper. So it was $10 together but I took it from two separate categories and then lastly I spent $41 out of my school sinking fund because I did have to register for a test and that's how much the registration was that's not how much the test is the test is like not I don't want to talk about it right now because <laughs> it's so much money but um I did pay for like the registration basically to just like hold my seat so that's that and then here's my income spread so i had etsy on tuesday instacart on wednesday and then also a reason reimbursement on wednesday and then my business transaction log is a lot so i've had two label purchases and then i had to renew my p.o box because i've had my p.o box for six months which i don't know how that's possible because i feel like i just got it like two months ago maybe but um i do have a p.o box which is always listed in my description box so if you guys ever want to send me something even a letter 
I would really appreciate that and I would of course send you one back but yes that's there and then I bought my plum paper planner which is my budget planner for next year and I'm so so excited um, and it actually shipped today so I should be receiving it super soon and I cannot wait to show you guys because I am just so happy with everything like the cover the layout the color scheme everything is perfect and I cannot wait and then again labels and then lastly Amazon I bought some supplies for my shop for some new things coming to the shop I needed a few things and then also I bought more um like mailers rigid mailers and then this page is looking the same and that's it that is all the updates for the past week um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did also please please subscribe if you love budgeting or planner content because I really really want to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year that is my goal and um, I want to do another giveaway for you all so do that if you want to and I will see you all in my next video Bye guys.